O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical content. Concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up eight, NASDAQ up five, SPs down two and a half, gold, gold contract uh, up five dollars ten cents, trading at two thousand five an ounce. We have silver up forty one cents, twenty four dollars ninety cents an ounce, a light sweet crude. Where are you? Up a dollar thirty one, eighty one dollars eighty nine cents a barrel. Uh, copper, copper's on the move up here. It's up eight and a half pennies, trading out at 401 a pound. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up four ticks, trading 111.15. The 30-year up 10 at 124.18. And King Dollar, King Dollar right now trading up 226 ticks at 101.848. The euro is 109. Yen is at 142, and the British pound is at 128 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get the beginning of window dressing. You get a sideways move out here. You get summer trading. You know, long, long, long weekends. That's for sure. You get 33 million shares traded. You get the S&P, the spy down 23 cents. You're trading out at 456.70, and I expect that that's we're gonna have a sideways move right into the close, folks. We go take a look at the futures. And what you have in the futures, it's, a, it's the same kind of indication. So if we take a look at the futures, what you're going to see, the biggest bar that we actually had. Take a look at this, baby. So yeah, you had the big bar right at the open. When we, we took the second bar, you know, that bar at the uh, 45.95, no, 45.99, you know, has some juice in it. Okay, so we'll see what happens with this bar right here. Let's see. Well, you, we, a new bar is going to start right now because they just took it down on price a bit. So it looks like it's going to go after that. We'll see whether they get something. But regardless, I don't, you know, yeah, maybe it would be down 5 points, 7 points in the S&P. You know, nothing, nothing real heavy here. Because what's holding this up is if you really go back a few more days, there's, there's plenty of support up at this level, even though we're at highs. We go into the queues. Take a look at the queues. The queues are set up the same way. Bottom line is that, you know, you get a sideways move in the queues. You're down 47 cents. You get 34 million shares traded. If we go into the end queues and we take a look at the end queues, there we go. So we take a look at the end queues, you're going to see the same setup. You know, the big bar that we had this morning, that's where the volume was. That was 28,000 contracts. When we came down the second time, you only came down with 10. That's how dramatic it was. So we'll see how this shakes out here. It's gonna, it's gonna go, it's gonna try to go after the bar that we had like at uh, 1300 hours, one o'clock this afternoon. It's gonna go after that. We'll see if we get an expansion of volume. In fact, as we're speaking, as I'm speaking right now, it's going after it right now. Gold. If we take a look at the gold contract. Uh, gold contract uh, right now trading up 5:30. Now, what's interesting, you know, of course, Mondays I do the gold report, folks, right? And it looks to me that. You know, after going through a lot of these equities, you know, I, my take is gold's going to go higher, you know, in a, in a big way, you know, right now. But that being said, guess what? <laughs> it wants to go test this low of last week first. And that's 1981. Because when you take a look at whether it's the XAU, the HUI, they're all basically, you know, they were coming into this strength, but yet the volume was still a bit too high. So it's like, you know what, this thing is going to, Try to get into this uh, area again. I'll bring one, I'll bring the XAU up right now so you can see what I'm talking about. If you take a look at this, we put this. So the XAU is up 331 today. You know we had come down with uh, 80, uh, 27 million. You were going into 26 million. I won't get the volumes till later today, but it's light volume out here right now. You know, so on a short-term basis, I think we're still in a little consolidation here. 
And what the culprit's going to be, more than likely, is this good old dollar. Because if you take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see here is that, you know, that dollar rejected lower price when it, when it broke its... Not that one. It got out of the range. So it came back inside the range. Your first swing point is up at this 103,500. And then if you go to the UUP, which is the closest thing I can get to with volume on the dollar, what you're going to see is that, you know, we took that out with volume. We did, you know, we did uh, 3 million versus 3.1 3. 3. million versus 3.5, 1.5. 3 1.1 versus 3.5. That's saying that also wants to get up to that higher level. So I suspect that's where we're going. If we go take a look at the note and bond market out here, the 10 year note first. The 10 year note, we're up four ticks. This thing's been moving all over the place, you know. And this is going to have to build cars now to get the higher price because when we came down last week, it came down with, we just came down with some volume. You know, the, you're still inside the range, you know, but like today, today you're up four ticks. You have hardly any volume at all. We had come down with 2.2 uh, million contracts. You know, as long as you stay above the 110.27, you know, you're in the higher range, but we're just barely above it. So I suspect we're going to be seeing some more sideways movement, some building cars movement in order to get to higher price. That's how this baby is setting up right now. Some of the inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You got CrowdStrike up 4%, 4 Datadog up 4%, Adobe up 3.3, taken away from it. Dexcom off 5.5%. They got Intel off 2.3. You got T-Mobile down 2.1. Inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise out here inside the Dow Industrials, what we have, you get Chevron putting 30 positive points, United Health 24, Caterpillar 21, American Express 20. Taken away from it, you get J&J &J, minus 45, Microsoft uh, minus 24, Amgen minus 16. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now is down one. NASDAQ is flat. S&Ps are down three and a half. We'll come right back. <laughs>